This is RuneScape's first raid. It was created with the intention to challenge players who have spent hundreds if not thousands of hours creating their accounts. Generally speaking, raids are done in teams, but it is of course possible to do them alone. So if a new player wanted to complete a raid like this and do it solo, how long would it take for them from creating a brand new level 3 to the raid's completion? Well, I wanted to find out, so I created a new account entirely from scratch to see how long this could take. This isn't going to be a typical speedrun, since the intention isn't to set any world records. I'm doing this speedrun to prove that anyone who is determined enough can experience a raid much faster than they think. I am so excited to start this account because I've been thinking about doing this for a few months and Chambers of Zarek is one of my favorite things to do in this game. Now, conveniently, the Christmas event is currently in the game and by completing it, I can get like about 800k from all of the different things like party hats, Christmas crackers and everything. So this worked out perfectly. And that is the Christmas event completed. Wait, I didn't get my stuff. What? Got the snow globe. What? Dude, no way! I'm a member! What? Oh, dude, I thought this would only happen to, like, free-to-play players that are just making accounts to just get free GP. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that sucks. Well, that is just 10 minutes of this speedrun that I am never getting back. Well, that's not a big deal, since I had a backup plan from the start anyway, just in case this would have happened. So, I'm gonna be looting these Dougal Leaves, because they're 213 GP each, and I'm gonna get a full inventory, which I don't really need all that much GP to start. I really just need, like, a little bit of starting cash. There we go, full inventory. I'm just gonna get one more inventory. Now, some of you might be wondering why I didn't just go and get the 10k from the Stronghold of Security. Well, I haven't put the Authenticator in this account account yet and I don't plan on doing that right now because I'm in the middle of a speed run I'll do that later on but for now I'm going to be selling these for about almost 10k all right I stuck them in for 160 and logged out so 30 of them sold and honestly that is more than enough starting cash we're about to make a lot of GP very quick so I'm going to get myself some teleports and I'm also going to get myself a one dose stamina now it's time to go to Zaya for this kind of weird money making method but it's a really good way to just get a lot of starting GP really quick so we're going to travel to Land's End by the way there's a free lit candle here that I'm just going to take since it's a free 200 GP this is where we're going to be making a lot of our starting GP the Shazy Enclosed store specifically by buying out these chef's hats you buy them from the store for two gp each and they sell on the ge for 500 each one inventory alone is nearly 14k plus there's a bank right here so i'm gonna rinse and repeat this for a little bit Hey, you like role-playing, right? What do you refer to, adventurer? Do you like role-playing, dragons, fantasy worlds, real-time battles with your allies, things of that nature? I don't know what you speak of, adventurer. Cut the crap and just tell me. Okay, yeah, I do, bro. Get to the point. Well, you could experience all of that and more in Call of Dragons, which features many fantasy races like elves, orcs, humans, celestials, the list goes on. Call of Dragons has the world of Tamaris, a vast realm filled with wondrous creatures, an icy tundra, snow-capped peaks, scorched deserts, and and of course, a luscious wilderness. There's tons of strategic freedom that you have in the battles with real-time tactical decisions and true 3D terrain. After all, Tamaris is a land of mountains, rivers, valleys, tundras, and countless other features. The terrain isn't just for show, it's one of the most important features of the gameplay. You get to use natural barriers like ravines and rock formations to your advantage by setting up range units on the other side of them to barrage the enemy without taking damage. There's also hero skills which are magical artifacts that have insane abilities like turning invisible, astounding speed, teleportation, the list goes on. Equip your heroes with an artifact that suits their abilities and unleash artifact skills to dominate the battlefield. Pair heroes with complementary skills together and deploy them in battle to own the battlefield. Look, just download Call of Dragons now using my link in the description or scan the QR code on screen now to try it out. Also make sure to use promo code CODFANTASY in game as well for some extra bonuses. All right, I filled up quite a few inventories at this point, so let's go and sell these. I also bought some extra stuff while I was there because why not? It's a little bit of extra GP. So from this, we are making about 80K when it's all said and done. I bought myself an Amulet of Glory and a Ring of Wealth and I have about 50K GP left over, but that is more than enough than I need for this next money making method. Literally all we have to do is just come to the shop and buy out all these nails and it will basically like triple our cash deck. I also like risking it by going to PVP world since basically nobody's ever, oh, 
Okay, well, the steel nails were bought out, but basically nobody is ever actually here, so you can just get a free shop worth of nails. Plus, you can buy bolts of cloth for $650, and then they go for $924 in the GE, so that's also a little bit of money. This really is such a good money-making method, though. I came in with about 50 k and I'll show you how much it turns into. So we just turned 50 k into 112 k Let's repeat that one more time. Just realized I'm still in the PvP world. And that should be the last of our cash stack. So from all of that, we got ourselves 289k. And I still can't believe that these have not sold. There's time to make even more money. Man, I'm not gonna lie. This looks really stupid, but I really <laughs> like this dumb hat or globe, snow globe. What you know what I'm saying? So this next money making method is kind of simple. I forget which bag plant it is. Bag plant three? I don't know. I'm going to buy out bag plants one, two, and three just to see what the margin is. So basically, I'm just going to rinse and repeat this until I have no more GP. All right, that's all the bag plants. So do we actually turn a profit on this? Bag plant one, we could sell those for 17, 15 each. They all insta sell. That's good. Bag plant two. Okay, these are actually selling over because you could buy these for 5K each or not. Okay, great exchange price. Just lie to me a little bit. That's fine. And then bag plant three. Three. These are selling for a bit less than you'd want. Here, I can just go bring these down to like 6K. Oh no, I might have lost a little money on this. Let me go 5,500. Okay, it's sold. I will not be buying the bag plants too, but bag plant three actually do give me money. Bag plants one and three, that is. Yeah, at 1.7K each, I gotta be buying the bag plant ones. All right, trying to see if there's anything else worth buying like a smaller amount like bagged roses because you buy these for i think 10k it is in fact 15k you buy these for i might have just scammed myself oh i might have scammed myself big time oh i did i definitely just scammed myself oops well it's okay i bought very few of them oh oh no <laughs> i really scammed myself holy crap 9k and obviously i'll make money on this so basically all of my profit is in these <laughs> right here Oh, that's so stupid. In fact, I did still profit. That was so dumb. Whatever. We keep going. All right, we are done again. This guy just told me that I'll never reach 500,000 subscribers. You want this guy to be proven right? Another couple trips and... Oh, wait, these actually sold. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that works. And we have 491K. They're selling for 1.7K each. Again, that's another few trips. Once more, we sell these for 1,700 each and we get 638K. Again, and that is another trip done. We now have a nice total of 725K. I think it's time to get started now. So I bought myself a bunch of teleports, some robes, and some food. I'm also gonna get some staminas, and I got myself a combat bracelet as well. And I obviously need some runes. It's time to get a bunch of quests done. That is daddy's home for a construction, plus a free house. And we also get some supplies, which can go for a bit of decent GP. That's which is potion for four magic. That's imp catcher for 10 magic. No way I actually got caught doing this quest. No way. <laughs> That's the witch's house for 24 HP. That's Doric's quest for 10 mining, which I am doing these quests in a particular order, so I just don't have to train certain skills. That is the knight sword for 29 smithing. So in order to train my agility, I have to get 10 fletching, and I also had to get smithing, and you'll see why. I needed those skills as a requirement for the Taurus trap, where I can get agility experience as a reward. You can get basically two things of experience, and obviously... I'm gonna go for agility because I don't need fletching. I don't need smithing or anything like that. This is the best one to go for. I will never get tired of creating new accounts because the early game is always so satisfying. Like just completing this quest, Tree Known Village, that gets me from one attack to 28. By the way, this quest, the Grand Tree, needs 25 agility. So again, I'm doing these quests in a very particular order. That is the Grand Tree for 37 attack. A couple agility levels too, which is always nice. And 22 magic. That is Fight Arena done for 41 attack. I also got 14 thieving out of it too. That is Waterfall Quest done, which brings me up to 44 attack and 30 strength. That is Vampire Slayer for a little bit of extra attack experience. Pre-made Blurberry Specials. That was 1,500 GP. Out of curiosity, if I sell it, how much is that? 971 GP? All right, I gotta go test this. I, I gotta test this just before I do this quest. All right, so filling up an inventory and going to bank takes me about like a minute. I'm gonna say with uh, no energy, it's gonna be like a minute and a half. 
So I sold the last one for 970 GP. And these apparently are actively traded around 1K. So let me just 920 GP. So in theory, if these were to sell for 920 GP each over the course of like an hour or whatever, because obviously they're not insta selling and I don't want to just lower the price. That's apparently 993K an hour. Although the fact that they're not selling, I mean, kind of says it all, but you could potentially make one mil an hour from this. That's kind of ridiculous. What the fuck? Wait, what just happened? Wait, what the f what? Where the hell am I? What the hell? What the hell happened? <laughs> what the hell is this? Hello? What? <laughs> All right, Death Plateau for 45 attack. That is Merlin's Crystal. Now begins the very long process of killing the Black Knight Titan, but this is going to be for defense and prayer experience, so it is worth it, <laughs> and it is also free. That took me four minutes, and this is a huge buff to the account. 31 defense and 28 prayer. Holy Grail completed. All right, so with the 400K that we have, it's time to make a bit more cash. We're gonna charge Rings of Wealth at the Fountain of Rune. The method itself is really straightforward, but it is a bit risky, although I don't really think I am in that much danger since I'm such a low combat level. All you gotta do is you go to somebody's house in World 330, go to their Nexus portal, and then they should have Anacarl here. I mean, I don't know why he wouldn't. Yeah, okay, he actually has it. So it's a quick run east to the Fountain of Rune. This really is a money-making method that only I would do, man. It's just like risky for no reason. And this is my entire cash deck on me, effectively. You know, through these Rings of Wealth, that is. But yeah, at this point, you just charge them, teleport out, rinse and repeat. It's a really simple money-making method. All right, I have eight more to charge. All right, so from just charging those Rings of Wealth alone, I mean, we can also grab this too. We made 67K, and that took us basically no time. That's why this money-making method is so good it's just something that constantly needs to be charged people always need this if you're willing to do the bitch work like i am <laughs> you'll make a lot of money and now we repeat at nauseum another sale there you go 536k more another 44 of these charged we'll buy 49 more This is why the money-making method is so good. We just turned 400K into about 1.3 mil in basically no time. It is time to train my prayer though. I think I'm gonna get like 45 prayer overall, which I, I don't really think I need more than that since I do want to attempt to do Chambers of Zarek at a pretty low combat level, which is gonna result in a pretty low time, but I'm not sure on the logistics of it since I did run it on a DPS calculator, but we're going to worry about all of that later. For now, I just want to get myself 45 prayer. It's looking like our first run is going to bring us up to 36 prayer. Oh, it might not be enough. Come on. Two bones off, dude. Come on. I bought the last two bones. There you go. 45 prayer. It is insane to me that this is the sound the zombie makes. That is so low and bassy. Like, what is going on with that? When I first heard that, I was, like, really freaked out. I was like, what the hell is that? I thought, like, someone was coming to, like, rob me outside or something. All right, Oziak, give me my defense experience. Thank you, sweetheart. Dragon Slayer completed. And that is Monkey Madness done. The only correct move whenever you're building an account quickly is to focus on strength and HP. There's no other way around it. That brings us from 26 HP to 41, as well as 45 strength. I'm wondering if you can hear my puppy crying in the background. I'm gonna look like such a noob, but this is actually such a good upgrade that it doesn't even matter. Oh my God, what's wrong with me? Why am I this stupid? <laughs> Why am I this dumb? <laughs> I don't have 40 magic. That is the Fremenic Trials completed. That gives us a bunch of little levels, which is super nice. And better yet, it gives us access to all the helmets. We definitely should make some more money. I'm going to get myself 10 construction, and then I have a plan. So this starts off with us getting 10 construction. And now we buy loop halves of keys. And then we go for two tabs of keys, which go for about 9.5k. Whereas a crystal key is actually selling for about 18.7k. So basically, I'm, I'm really just saving 70 gp if i put these together every time but regardless i am going to spend all my money on this method and just kind of 
hope that it works to be honest so with tent construction you can change your house location to outside of taverly and outside of taverly conveniently is the crystal chest where you can loot the crystal keys so for every crystal key you loot you will get a guaranteed dragonstone as well as another random item now that other random item could be worthless or it could be very good see the dragonstone is worth 13k the keys are worth about 18 19k so you do lose money on just the dragonstone but when you get other items like coal or the rune plate legs, rune plate skirt, or the rune bars, that's when you're in the money. On average though, when you do a lot of these keys, you're supposed to make money. That or the OSR's wiki just lied and I just blame that. So I got not the best luck, but I still think it should be profit overall. This is all the loot I ended up getting, minus I guess like the elemental runes, but I'm not gonna sell those for now. So we started with 600K and we now have 693K. So this is a good money making method and that was with even bad luck right there. Plus I have this loop half a key, so that's 700K. We're just gonna keep doing this for more money. A lot of crystal keys later and we are done. We have made quite a decent bit of profit. This is really, really good, honestly. I've had good luck with the runite bars this time around too. I think that was only like an hour and change overall too to turn 600K into 3.1 mil. That really is good money and I should keep at it, but I'm just too eager to get back to training the account. So that's what we're gonna go back to. So I wanna train my range and weirdly enough, that starts by getting 25 thieving. We also just got ourselves 20 crafting. That's the golem quest done. That is 30 crafting. That's demon slayer. And all of that was so I can complete this quest and get free ranged experience. And that should get us 27 range. That's shadow of the storm for 27 range there we go such an easy way to jump start training ranged so from two quests we go from one ranged all the way to 30 thanks to horror from the deep the real price from completing horror from the deep though is that i get these three books which are pretty decent gear upgrades for a very small cost to get the bonuses you just need to add the pages to it but the pages are so cheap i'm also gonna buy a warrior's ring right now since it's only 52k want to know what i just found out yesterday by the way apparently this store sells spades. I had absolutely no idea for like the longest time because it used to not actually sell those spades whatsoever. That must have been like a semi-recent update within like the past few years. If anybody knows when that actually happened, when they added the spade to the shop, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be really interested to know that. That is Clan of Karen done. And I'm gonna throw these both on defense as well. So now we go Hasidious like always and now we move on to our next quest which is a big one to unlock because it's our training spot so i'm in the middle of doing this quest right now i may as well get a few of these xp tomes all right tome 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 and that gets us to 36 magic honestly it's pretty decent experience to do this screw it while i'm here i'm just gonna get 40 magic really quick just to bust it out this way all right just got a few more tomes and that Right there is 40 magic. Plus, I got a few extras as well. All right, let's finish this quest. So I could actually finish the quest here at this point, since you basically just go down this hole over here and kill a snake. But I just wanted access to the training spot. I don't actually care about finishing the quest. There's no actual real benefit to it. So I'm going to get myself 45 defense really quickly, and then we can continue on. There we go, 45 defense. So now we can finally wear a Berserker helmet. Beautiful upgrade as always, man. Always feels good to put on your first Berserker helmet on the account all right now it's time to get ourselves 18 slayer and 35 wood cutting all right that is all of our slayer done that is a monk's friend done for 20 wood cutting 35 wood blooding so i'm gonna need a lot more gp since i'm gonna train my magic level soon so we're going back to the crystal key method back to the old grind by the way just to give you a bit of an update the account is about 14 hours in. Pretty decent amount of this time has actually just been spent making GP, but it's absolutely worth it. I mean, we have a pretty decent amount for having just started the account. This money-making method really is phenomenal. I'm gonna keep going until I have about like five or six mil, which it'll probably take me like another hour or two at this rate. Okay, I got carried away and actually made eight mil. So that was a couple hours of money-making. So we're just gonna cool it for now and go back to training. I need to get myself 62 magic. 
Right now, I'm currently trying to reach 49 magic using the Enchanted Crossbow Bolt spell since it's going to be my fastest experience, but I think I'm actually going to run out of bolts before then. We'll see where we get. Yeah, we are out of bolts. So I actually got myself 47 magic, which is pretty good, but I need to get myself 49 magic so I can enchant the next bolt. Thankfully, I can just go and hand in library books for magic experience because it's not only free, but it's also pretty good experience. All right, so we were able to squeeze out an extra few books here. And with all these XP tomes or books of arcane knowledge whatever you want to call it that should get us straight to 49 magic this is seriously one of the coolest magic training methods in this game in my opinion all right back to enchanted cross bubbles thankfully i only need to do this until 51 magic where i can then use a divine magic potion and high alk and teleport which is really good experience and that should be perfectly 51 magic. We're going to buy 100 divine magic potions. And that will be 800k. That's 2 mil. And then for the Alks, I absolutely need to make more money before I continue on with this. Now, as always, this could be a mistake, but I think it's a mistake worth making. All right, that is all the Rings of Welds charged. So that cost us 3.2 mil. And in turn, we get back 3.7 mil. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do the crystal keys again. I think that it's just such a superior money making method. It's just so good. That is a full load of crystal keys done plus i have an extra freebie right here rune bars yes <laughs> another run brought us up to a 5.8 mil cash deck we have another 310 keys to go through this really is a chill money making method i mean it's not the most exciting thing but like you really can just kind of chill as you do this i'm thinking there should be more than enough money for now seven mil so now i'm gonna get myself something to elk so here's the method i'm gonna drink a divine magic potion to go from 51 to 55 magic and have that boost for the next five minutes and then from here i'm just gonna cast high elk and then camelot teleport which this is gonna get me like 130k magic experience an hour somewhere around that range it's really good experience for only being level 51 magic and 62 magic we are done all right so uh definitely overshot how much i thought i was gonna need by a large amount obviously but that does not matter we can buy ourselves the warped scepter there we go charge it up we have so much more extra gp than i actually intended on having so i'm going to buy myself an amulet of fury so for those of you who don't know the warp scepter is basically just a worse trident you only need level 62 magic to wear it as opposed to the level 75 magic you need for a trident which initially i was going to go for but after checking a dps calculator the warp scepter is going to be good enough for raids we obviously have to get ourselves a mage arena cape since the dps increase is just too good not to get it i basically always go get out of here dude you're ruining my moment i basically basically always go for a Ceridoman cape. I feel like it's impossible not to. There's a few more stats that we still have to train on the account, but next video, I want to try and complete the solo chambers of Zerkraid. Until then though, let's get a million likes on this video. Or 10.